Dingus Whale, the Wanderer, the Rise of Shaka. In South Africa's Zululand, in the late 18th century, Godongwana plotted to overthrow his father and become chief of the Mantetwa. His father uncovered the plot and called for Godongwana's head. Godongwana escaped to the mountains and travelled the lands, learning from Portuguese traders and British soldiers. He renamed himself Dingus Whale, which means the Wanderer. Years later, Dingus Whale's father died and he returned home to claim the title of chief. Using his knowledge of European trade, weapons and tactics, his regiments quickly began conquering surrounding chiefdoms. One of his young generals, Shaka, was given a regiment to take control of a small clan called the Zulu during these conquests. For 20 years, Dingus Weyo's growing power brought him into conflict with the mighty chief Zwide. Whilst Shaka was away, Zwide defeated and killed Dingus Weyo, taking his skull as a sign of victory. Shaka returned and seized control of Dingus Weyo's defeated army and used his powerful Zulu warriors to finally defeat Chief Zwide. And so began the Zulu nation under the great King Shaka. But never forget Dingus Weyo, the Wanderer. And don't forget to like and subscribe to Manic Minutes.